Hi folks, this is Jeff Kamarda, PhD, your wealth doctor with must knows about protecting your child from identity theft. Now scammers have all sorts of ways to get information about kids, information they can use to steal their identity. And it may be years before it's discovered. They could be adults and this could be take forever to clean this up. Young children might not even have an allowance yet, but thieves can make a lot of money off their identity. Criminals can grab children's information in the real world or online, most crucially the social security number, and then use it to open a line of credit using whatever address or bank account they choose. From there, the crooks can do anything, anything from going on a spending spree to trying to claim the child's government benefits like health care coverage or nutrition assistance. And since most parents have no reason to check their offspring's credit, they might not find out about it until the child gets older and applications for student loans are rejected and benefits are denied. Now, kids are high risk and they don't really know to keep their information secure and a breach can give them major headaches well into adult life. Fortunately, there are plenty of steps to take to keep children safe from credit fraud or identity theft and there are many ways to unwind any trouble that thieves cause. Here, here's a look at some of the things parents need to know about how thieves steal information and how to deal with the dangers and consequences. The FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, received over 20,000 reports of identity theft for Americans aged 19 and under last year, and this might just be the tip of the iceberg. Identity theft can go undiscovered for a long time and unreported for various reasons, such as unscrupulous family members trying to hide it and other reasons. Scammers use various strategies to obtain valuable information about children, including scouring social media platforms, searching through data breaches, checking public records, engaging with children directly in online forums, or buying information on the dark web. With just a few pieces of data to put a mosaic together, it doesn't take much, Crooks and then hijack children's social media accounts, intercept their physical mail, obtain low-limit credit cards in their name through retailers, or access funds by changing passwords. Gaining access to a social security number is considered the holy grail. Man, that's the golden ticket for thieves, enabling them to do anything from getting a loan to signing up for government benefits. So the first step to protect children is to freeze their credit, which restricts anyone, including the parent or child, from opening new uh, credit accounts with the child's social security number. The sooner people can do it, the, the better. In fact, they can enact a freeze as soon as the child is assigned a social security number. Freeze it up, they don't need it, right? They don't need a credit card for a while yet. Why make it available to thieves? To, to, to place a freeze, contact each of the three credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion and Experian and ask them to check your child's credit. Then ask them to freeze the child's credit. From there, sign up at uh, annualcreditreport.com, annualcreditreport.com to get a report from all three bureaus as often as weekly, if you want, to check for suspicious activity. Also, set up a fraud alert which sends notices to potential creditors requiring them to take extra steps to verify a person's identity before allowing anyone to open a line of credit in their name. As children get older, there are ongoing steps to take to protect their vital information, lock their birth certificate and social security card someplace safe, and be cautious when asked to share a child's information, especially the social security number. Be skeptical of requests for this information and only provided through secure means like encrypted emails that Clickamarty and Taxmaster uses for its clients. Parents should understand how much information their children are disclosing online as their digital footprint starts from a very young age these days. Encourage children not to disclose too much information online and educate them about the dangers of sharing personal data on social media platforms or collaborative game sites. Uh, parental oversight and conversations about online safety are crucial. If parents suspect their child's identity has been stolen, they should act quickly, report what they know, keep notes, and obtain a theft report from the FTC. This report will guide them through the steps they must take to undo the damage, which can often be resolved within 30 days. However, complex thefts may take longer to fix. Now, protecting children from identity theft requires vigilance and uh, vigilance, rather, and proactive measures from both parents and children themselves by taking these steps. Parents can safeguard their children's identities and a large part of their financial future and prevent potential financial ruin down the road.
That's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Jeff Kamart. Until next time, we'll see you.